What is memory? It's not a single box where all our thoughts are stored. In psychology, memory is a complex system, a series of processes that help us take in, hold and retrieve information. Let's break it down. Memory flows through three main stages, sensory memory, short term memory and long term memory. But to move information along this path, we must attend to it, encode it and rehearse it. Only then does it get stored. Let's begin with sensory memory. The duration is less than 2 seconds and the capacity is very large. The function of sensory memory is that it holds raw, unprocessed sensory input. Ever noticed how a sparkler leaves a trail in the air? That's our iconic memory in action, a visual trace that quickly fades. A quick memory does the same with sound. Now, short term memory also known as a mental notepad. Duration is around 15 to 30 seconds. The capacity is about 7 plus or minus 2 items, a discovery by psychologist George Miller. The function is to temporarily hold for active use like remembering a phone number before dialing. Want to boost it, use chunking and rehearsal. And then comes the long term memory. The duration is potentially a lifetime and the capacity is virtually unlimited. The function is to store information after it has been processed and rehearsed. Long term memory is not just one kind, it has subtypes best remembered with the mnemonics ESP, episodic memory, personal experiences and events, semantic memory is facts and general knowledge, procedural memory is motor skills and actions like riding a bike or typing. Let's not forget three key concepts that is encoding, retrieval and working memory. Encoding is turning input into memory whereas retrieval is about accessing that stored information. Working memory is a modern view of short term memory. It's your brain's workspace. According to Bandley and Hitch, it's where short term storage meets attention control. Understanding memory has real world uses. Better study strategies like spaced repetition and mnemonics, smarter UX design, applying the 7 plus or minus 2 rule into real life, insights into learning disabilities like dyslexia which affects working memory, and even understanding the limits of eyewitness memory in legal settings. Memory is not just one system, it's a dynamic process. Knowing how it works helps us learn better, design smarter and think clearer.